Tuesday all the way through Thursday. The family of Heather Elvis says they are now being harassed online. They say it's come to a point of being dangerous for the family. Heather's mother, Debbie, held a press conference yesterday to clarify some of the claims on Facebook. One of those accusations being leveled against the Elvis family involves the misuse of money raised through fundraisers for Heather. Terry and Debbie and Elvis say the money is still sitting in a bank account and has only been used twice to purchase T-shirts. They say money raised from those T-shirts was put right back in the account and it will eventually all be used as a reward for information to bring Heather home. Heather Elvis, as you know, went missing back in December of 2013. Police have charged Tammy and Sydney Moore with Heather's kidnapping and murder. They believe it all happened at Peachtree Landing. That's where Heather's car was found. The Moores are currently out on bond. No date has yet been set for that trial. New at 5.30, traffic lights could help save the environment. According to researchers at MIT, smarter programming of city traffic lights could reduce delays, improve efficiency, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Researchers say sitting in traffic is harmful and sends harmful emissions into the atmosphere. They are now looking at bringing the idea to New York and other large cities to test the potential of those smarter traffic signals. And engineers have developed a motorcycle helmet that will allow riders to use GPS navigation without ever taking their eyes off the road. The display system uses the visor to reflect see-through navigational information from a projector right in front of the driver's eyes. It's in full color, high resolution, the images on the inside surface of the visor. That's where they show up. The system also uses voice control. The company will show its final prototype in May here in the U.S. It's expected to sell for a mere $2,000. When it comes to dining out, there are a lot of options across the Grand Strand. Now you can get an eatery's safety grade before you ever book a reservation. Myrtle Beach shopping days are designed to keep your dollars local this weekend. I'm live this morning with just how many stores are offering new deals. 